Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ellie and I film mainly fashion related videos. I would describe my style as quite minimal but with a twist. I really like my neutrals, my elevated basics. So if this sounds like your cup of tea, feel free to join my little YouTube community. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys which are my most worn luxury items. So I'll be showing you bags, belts and sunglasses. I'm also going to be talking about wear and tear. So the first item that I have on my list is the Saint Laurent mini toy shopping bag. I bought this bag about a year ago, I think, and I have been wearing it non-stop, honestly. It's one of my go-to bags. It does look actually quite small, but it's not that small as it seems. It does fit a lot of different items. And I have a whole separate video that is dedicated to this bag in which I'm actually showing you guys what exactly can you fit in this bag. So I will link this video down below. So as you can tell, it has the croak embossed uh, leather. I do really like this effect and this leather because it makes the bag extremely durable. I have worn this bag so much and it doesn't have any scratches. Even if it does have any scratches, they would probably be the most micro <laughs> type of uh, scratches that you would never be able uh, to tell that they're there which is absolutely amazing also this bag can be very understated if you want it to be you can potentially drop this down and you will not have the YSL logo there the only type of uh, logo let's say would be the word Saint Laurent but they're extremely small as you can tell so you can definitely keep that in mind if you're not that into very big logos this bag can be very very understated especially nowadays with the quiet luxury type of trend this is um i would say quite a good bag if you do want to somehow fit in that type of um aesthetic i really like the crossbody strap it's not too wide and not too thin at the same time and uh, also it is adjustable which is also very important i have worn this bag during winter and fall when it has been raining or snowing and it is in absolutely perfect condition as i said although it has been actually in the rain and snow it's absolutely perfect the only type of care that i can think of is whenever i actually go let's say if i'm traveling and if i have been caught in the rain or in the snow i would um immediately try to uh, dry the bag uh, you know just with some wipes whenever I sit in a restaurant or in the hotel this is the only type of thing that I have done in uh, these type of situations so the next bag on my most worn list is the Loewe basket bag this is quite a recent purchase I bought it hmm, I don't know maybe five months ago I'm not sure maybe five months ago I need to double check that but um, I have worn this so much and I haven't babied this bag at all. I have actually added way too many things inside this bag. I have been using this bag as my airport bag, which is probably very surprising to most of you guys. I do use it as my airport bag because that's the only way you could potentially take this bag on vacation. So I have worn this in Paris, in Sicily this summer, in Greece. And the bag is still in uh, absolutely perfect condition, which I am very, very surprised about and very happy about because I, I wasn't really expecting that after wearing it so much and in the heat and yeah. Uh, obviously, it's supposed to be a very good quality bag because you don't, um, it's not obviously a cheap bag, but I feel like any other basket bag wouldn't really be as sturdy and durable. So I'm actually extremely happy with this purchase. And I am also planning on incorporating this bag during fall, just wearing it with my trench coats. I think that would be such a cute look. I would definitely recommend this bag if you're thinking about it. It's the perfect spring summer bag and I'm sure that you're gonna get a ton of wear out of it because 
it's in such a neutral color scheme it's so easy to style it with pretty much anything i wore it a ton this summer with all of my linen sets i also have a whole video about this bag and ways to style this bag i will make sure to leave that uh, video down below as well next we're moving on to my all-time favorite belts these are the thin Saint belts I love these, I love the fact that they're not too wide I have been wearing a lot more thinner belts like these ones in comparison to any of my wider belts that I own I have a Fendi uh, belt and a Gucci belt that are a bit wider um, and I do not wear those as much as I do wear these Saint Laurent belts I will show you of course some additional up close captures of these and I will show you a lot of different outfits um, I really like this off-white color and of course the classic black both of them are truly essential uh, for me they go really well with all of my clothing items they're definitely great to have they elevate any type of a simple outfit once again i wear them a ton i do not baby these and uh the only type of wear i guess that i can see is a little bit of creasing but i don't uh, mean anything major just normal type of creasing whenever you uh, wear your belts um, especially when you wear them often they obviously would have some sort of creasing at some point it's nothing that is in your face they're actually extremely durable the quality is amazing once again i have been in the rain with these in snow etc and the only thing that i uh, try to do is to dry them as quickly as possible next i'm going to show you my favorite sunglasses which are the celine triumph um, sunglasses i love these they go pretty much with everything that i own they elevate all of my looks i have so many different outfits on my instagram with these whenever i'm not sure what sunglasses i want to wear i always go for these these are my go-to sunnies they go so well with as i said pretty much any outfit these sunglasses were definitely worth it i bought mine from my teresa i will definitely link them down below if they still have them on my teresa my favorite site for luxury shopping is definitely my teresa that's where i bought my same long bag from as well and then the Louis basket bag I bought just from their official website but uh, yeah I would definitely recommend my Teresa whenever you're not able to find something uh, online I would say that 90% of the time whenever I'm looking for something particular um, that is uh, a luxury item I find it on my Teresa and the last item that I wanted to show you guys is this C by Chloe bag what I like about this bag is the gold hardware and the fact that it's quite a big bag. It fits a lot of things. Whenever I want to carry a lot of things and I want to feel very comfortable while doing so, I gravitate towards this bag because it has a really nice crossbody strap that is very comfy and um, this is how it looks like up close it's adjustable which is very important and this is the back a little bit more up close when it comes to wear and tear it has just a few scratches on the cold hardware nothing else really the only negative thing that i can say about this bag is that this dangly bit is a little bit on the louder side sometimes i have also the c by chloe mini hannah bag i think it was called but i don't wear that bag as much um but it is very cute very pretty and a very dainty bag i will show you that bag as well i think both of these bags that i'm talking about are available on my Teresa as well when it comes to the color i think this color is just called beige so that was all for this video guys i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel and also give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to follow me on instagram where i upload fashion content on a daily basis you will see a lot more outfit inspiration on there as well i would love for you to actually comment on one of my posts on instagram if you're coming from my youtube channel i would really love to know if you're one of my viewers here if you do have any recommendations for future videos please leave them in the comments below once again i hope that you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one bye